We talked about previously the January 6th investigations and how they revealed a bunch of text messages that were sent to Trump's chief of staff at the time, Mark Meadows. And now more texts are getting publicized, this time by Talking Points Memo, who put out a batch of text messages that were sent to Mark Meadows um, in the buildup, kind of in between Trump's loss and January 6th. And it just reveals how against our democracy, how scary of a time we were in and the pushing for very dangerous actions from a lot of significant people. So the one I wanna focus in on right now is GOP representative Ralph Norman and one of the texts he sent to Mark Meadows and then we'll get to his response to the fact that this was publicized. So here's this again, after Trump lost, but before January 6th, Ralph Norman writes, Mark, in seeing what's happening so quickly and reading about the Dominion lawsuits attempting to stop any meaningful investigation, we are at a point of no return in saving our republic. Our last hope is invoking martial law. But of course, as we've seen now with multiple people, martial's not spelled the correct way. Please urge to president to do so. So in case any of you guys know, Martial law is not spelled the same as like the name Marshall. It's M-A-R-T-I-A-L instead of M-A-R-S-H-A-L-L. Um, not the most important thing in the world, but it is funny <laughs> when you see someone who is calling for an action that would be so unprecedented, so dangerous and so anti-democratic and they can't even spell it correctly. And to be clear, in case you guys also aren't familiar, I'm sure you are, but Declaring martial law is when the military, the president, because of an emergency, declares martial law and is able to use the military to take control, pretty much, and have authority over the country. And that's what they were calling for. That's what they were wanting, to prevent Dominion voting systems from stealing the election, which they weren't doing, and um, very wild. And so I do think, I went last night to this speaking event of these two journalists who were talking about a book they wrote about Donald Trump. And um, one of the journalists used the analogy of the American people have kind of become the frog being boiled to death that doesn't know it is because the temperature was rising slightly and how we've almost gotten used to. And so I want to beg you guys not to think like, yeah, obviously this is what was happening. Yeah, they're all against democracy, whatever. Really recognize how wild and scary and dangerous it is that congressmen were saying the president pretty much needs to take over authoritarian power because we're buying into the lies that he's telling about the election and without evidence we should install keep him in power even though he lost that is so bad so dangerous and should be recognized as that from all of us even though we know this was happening it is still so important well the Huff Post reports that Ralph Norman's only regret about this text message was that he spelled Marshall wrong. Not that he was wanting to completely throw democracy out the door. As the Huff Post writes, here's the headline, Ralph Norman only regrets misspelling Marshall in Marshall Law text. Representative Ralph Norman's biggest regret about urging the Donald Trump White House to declare Marshall Law so Trump could remain in office seems to be that he did so with bad spelling and then it highlights uh what we just talked about asked about the text on tuesday norman said quote well i misspelled marshall that was his response and then he says i was very frustrated then i'm frustrated now i was frustrated then by what was going on in the capitol president biden was in his basement the whole year dominion was raising all kind of questions all kind of questions such a weird writing there. Anyways, um, so point is, he's not regretful that, okay, I've realized now it was all lies. I've realized now that this should not be something I pushed for. No, it's, okay, but I misspelled Marshall. I'm still aggravated about the election. Wow. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before any of the clips are uploaded to YouTube, plus get a full extra show every single Saturday, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash Luke Beasley. That's patreon.com slash Luke Beasley, and there's a link in the description.